listen, this is the thing. You know, we got to stop being degenerates because the thing what's happening is, it, it, this is the thing. I, I seen a thing the other day and you got, I just seen a clip. I was like, man, I hope this is old. Like, I hope this clip is old, but I think it was a recent clip. And it was Shannon Sharp, it was Ocho Cinco, and it was Deion Sanders. And the clip that I seen, I think it was Shannon Sharp talking about giving a woman bike shots. And for those of y'all don't know, that's that's it, that is a sexual conversation. And the woman passed gas. And then he said, well, you know, that's all right. She said, excuse me. And he said, that's all right. I normally make them S, you know, doodle on the cell. And now what that means scientifically is that's air being inserted. What that actually means is what people don't even be thinking about what they're saying. You push so much air into the woman's stomach that it's giving her gas. Gas is air coming out from gas pockets that's in the stomach. So, but here's the thing that we have to understand as black men. Why would you be having this conversation with a Division One? football coach and Dion was trying not to be in the conversation but they got so much motion he wanted to go on the show so he trying not to really engage in it because in the back of his head he understand I'm corporate Ocho you ain't got no job you work for yourself you bounce around you work for yourself Dion get a check sign by a board. So this is what you have to think about. And this is what black men not thinking about. <clears throat> Never. In the history. Of Urban Meyer. Nick Saban. Jimbo Fisher. I can't remember the man that was at Florida State coaching. Bobby Bowden. Uh, what's the man at Clemson? Dabo Sweeney. Kirby Smart. Never in these men entire career have they gone on a show or a podcast where the hosts are being sexually explicit in their presence. It is not professional. It is not mature. It is not respectful. And it is a bad look. And if the people want to disqualify someone on the grounds of inappropriate association, inappropriate representation of the brand, because here's the thing. This is what you have to realize. If a player's mom who getting ready to go to this college, if a player getting ready to go to this college and his mom, who could literally be 36 years old, if she goes on, she could be 40, she could be 44, she could be 50. She goes on YouTube or she just scrolling on social media and she sees this clip and she say, this who my son finna go play for? Somebody who has created a relationship with these men who feel comfortable talking about being sexually vile to women in public. This is a locker room conversation. This is a bar conversation. This is at the barbecue chilling conversation. This is not a conversation for millions of people to see when you are professional. And this is this the thing. And like, listen to me. 
I'm going into a space to where I'm taking the gloves off. Everybody, I'm, I'm holding everybody accountable. You know why? Because I hold myself accountable. And you know why? Because everybody at large. It, it, this ain't just affecting one person. This ain't, this ain't, this affecting millions of people. This affecting millions of people. And it, people don't understand the mind. This stuff shapes and shifts culture. So even with Shannon Sharp talking about him, he, he the bite shot king. Even with him talking about that, that is, that, that is, it's called doggy style for a reason. But what you have to understand is that's not a respectful, loving position. That's something that is for prostitutes, strippers. Now, yeah, you could do all that with your wife or all that, but you talking to men who not married. You talking to men who got a girlfriend. And so now subconsciously what's going to happen is anything the mind hears and this is what people don't understand is you have to be careful what come out your mouth because anything the mind hears the subconscious mind it accepts it as truth the subconscious mind scientifically cannot decipher between fact or fiction so anything it hears it accepts it as truth and it moves towards it that's what people talk about manifesting if the conscious mind confirms it then it for sure moves towards it. If the conscious mind refutes it, denies it, now it can label it a lie. But what young men are doing, they will hear this and they will go into their relationship and they will treat their woman like a dog. They will have her in this position and they'll be doing her like this and they'll be doing it very aggressively and not realizing that they could be causing pain. All because somebody they look up to was talking about this.